it's, it's about doing it consistently, adding that content value, and doing it over time and building that brand. You gotta just press record. Break down your business then. So the business is uh, walking tours. So a couple of different hours. What's your website? Uh, SanDiegoUrbanAdventures.com. And then that's where I sign up to do business with you. You can do it there or you can do it through all the different aggregators, the online tour agencies, Expedia, Viator, oh, TripAdvisor, all of those guys. And where do you prefer to do business? I would prefer to do business on my website because I make the most money that way. Right, because they all get a cut if it's on their right. sites. Um, and how do you get customers right now? Um, I rely a lot on the other people. Um, and then the like Diego. Expedia, the things like that. Yeah, because that's where discoverability is. Yep, it's much easier to be found there than okay. going down to me. You know, a couple thoughts. Initially, YouTube is a search engine, so I would search. There's people looking for San Diego tours. Now that's probably some competitive stuff. Right. True. There's a lot of competitors. A lot of competitors. There. And probably Google is probably like a hard place to rank. Have you studied out who ranks on YouTube for like San Diego tours or even specific places? You know, I don't know much, but like Gaslamp District or Catalina Island. If you pull up YouTube search and just look, like you could, it, one of the things you could do too, if you go to the search bar, you type in San Diego T-O, and it, and it'll, but it'll finish your sentence. Right. And then go San Diego tour space and then let's see what it says in the next word, those predictions. Well, it goes tourism, tours, tourist attractions. Tourist, tourist attractions. Tourism authority. Tourism authority. Tourist map. Tourist map. Mm, okay. so, what, so by the way, those predictions are video ideas, exact titles people are searching, looking for information on. Okay. So what's fascinating to me is like, is do the map one. So, so a way to get leads and start could be San Diego tourism map and you get a map designed mm -hmm. and it's a free opt-in, a free download, or even, you know, in 2019 and beyond, you actually don't even need people's email addresses anymore. You just need to pixel retarget your websites. If someone touches a website, you can keep talking to them, depending on your ad budget, right. but then it's all retargeting. You follow that? Yep. Yeah, so I would love to identify the 10 to 30 search terms and search phrases that would be relevant to lead to your business. I would then put content behind those 10 to 30 videos. I would research what's actually there to see what people are interested in. I would, I would put video content around those. Um, that's kind of the YouTube play. Then on top of that, I would just think about documenting the locations. What are some of the locations? Coronado, Babel Park, Old Town, uh, Gas Lamp. So then if you started a show, I would start an education show. Ten, five best restaurants in Catalina, two must-see parks, you know, and it's like you become the go-to. And obviously other people want to do this, but like, yeah, there's people doing it, but you know, it's, it's about doing it consistently, adding that content value and doing it over time and building that brand. And if you love your business, yes. you're committed to your business for the long term. Oh yeah then that's what we're talking about, is building up brand and kind of content awareness. Just creating content, it takes time, and yeah. it it's, can be hard, but you'll get faster as you go. What I've learned, and um, we teach this in a program we call called Video Ranking Academy, it's about getting, identifying those search terms, and then putting content behind them, and then by the way, it's at San Diego, it's Coronado, but then it's specific restaurants, and by doing the keyword research, which you could do with tools like keywordseverywhere.com, or the, just the Google Keyword Planner, which you do in AdSense. So you're trying to then say, what are people interested in? Number one, so they're interested in San Diego, they're interested in, you know, you know that. But then also, how much competition is there behind that? Because if it's like a full page of $4.5 million, you know, or 4.5 million subscribed channels, well then maybe San Diego, Tours is not the title, but that's why San Diego Tours Map becomes a campaign that you just go, hey, you're like, what are I? we just finished up our new map, you can download it, but first we're gonna show you all the cool things in it. Like, so right now in the description, you know, enter, go to the page, enter your email, and we're gonna email you a PDF plus, we're gonna send you like a pack of 10 coupons um, for some of our favorite restaurants that we've visited, you know, whatever, and then, and you're starting that relationship. You know they're coming in, and then it's all about soft selling what you're doing mm -hmm. because you're introducing who you are. Right. I mean, I'm soft selling my program Video Ranking Academy to you right now right. by telling you, like just saying like, I can solve that problem. You're saying, look, when you come here, you don't want to go to the wrong places. You want to go on some great walking tour. You know, you, you want to have the best experience possible. 
some people come through you just for the free information like they do me. Some people then would um, at least get exposure to your business. And that's just one idea around the map that we discovered by you doing a little bit of keyword research in a few minutes. You mentioned one of the terms to me and I put like an idea around it because I, that makes sense. Then you would reverse engineer your content based on your ideal end user. What is it they wanna see? And then of course, always being mindful of the fact that some people on YouTube, they go after the views, they go after the vanity metrics, they go after some of the things that would just get traction, but that not, might not be the people who could lead to business with them, that would do business with them. If you put out some videos that ranked for very obscure things, meaning when they search that, they find you, it's very obscure, like 10 views a month. But it's like that obscure thing is like what somebody who would do business with you would be looking for, then you're golden. And when you build that once, that video can drive leads to you for weeks, months, and years to come. <laughs>